Hello guys and welcome back. So far what we have right now with our um, Angular application is a view something like this where we have the routes in place and it's working as expected without reloading the application. Now let's also add one more route here that would be for the users section so that we can go ahead and have a look at child routing as well. So I'll be creating a new component here and uh, let me just call this component users and this will create the users component so let's uh, also do something like first close off uh, first let me close all of these and inside the app routing module i will create a route for users as well so users and this is going to load up the users component like so now i will also add a link to that inside my app header so this should take to the users section like so let's save that and now let's work on the users module or the users component so i'll open up the users components template and i don't really have anything here right now uh, let's just undo that and let's save that and first test if the users block is loading so yeah the users component is loading fine now what i will do is i'll create a list of users in here and then i will present them onto the screen using uh, an unordered list so inside the users component i don't really have any users as of now so i'm going to quickly go to a website known as uh, json placeholder .com, and this provides us with a mock api that can be used so it has a section for users and uh, these are uh, this is the json data for all the users that we can get from this api so i'm going to copy that and let's just go back to the application here and create some users so i'll create a variable here named users let's define this as of type any as of now and paste all the data that we had and just format it a bit now let me just uh, unwrap uh, this into a single line and i don't really need the constructor and the ng on it so i'm gonna get rid of those and i'll have to get rid of the implement ng on it as well and this import statement as well at the top now i'll go back to the users component and i'll create a div here with a class of container inside this div i need a, an, an unordered list with a class of uh, list hyphen group and inside that I need a list item with a class of list group item now I press enter and uh, this is the markup that gets generated by Emmet now in here I'll use the let me just wrap this in, in the next line and I'll use the ng for directive that gets um, that comes with uh, angular and in here I'll specify something like let user of users and uh, now in here I already have the users in place right here inside my components class so I will simply first log their names so user dot name something like that let's save this and check if this works so I'll go back to the application and I see a list of users getting printed right here like so now let's just convert this into links so that whenever the user whenever a particular user clicks on them then they are navigated to the right hand side section wherein they can see their details so I will use a link here and with instead of an href I'm going to again use the router link and here I will use uh, let me just cut this text from here and paste this inside this anchor tag and in here let me just uh, specify the router link as front slash let's uh, save this and go back to the application and now all these are links if I hover over them uh, I can see at the bottom 
left hand uh, section of the screen that says that it will take me to the local host colon 4200 that is going to be the root route but instead i i'm um what i want here is that i should be navigated to user slash one in case or the user slash uh, the id of this particular user if i go back to the json placeholder i also see some id for a particular user right here so uh i can use the id of this user in this case so i can either use the string interpolation syntax and do something like user dot id and if i save this now then and go back to the application this is now going to take me to uh, localhost colon 4200 slash the id of the user but again that is something that we don't really want so i am going to use the relative route in this case so i'll do dot slash and let's save this now and go back to the application and check where it takes us now so it now takes us to users slash uh, the id of that particular user so what i did here is that i used the relative route by specifying a dot before this uh, absolute route and this would take me to the uh, route wherein the user is currently present that would be the user's route this one and after that it will take me to the id of that particular user so this is going to be something like uh, user slash one uh, and sorry user slash the id of that particular user and uh, after that let's also specify a right hand side section wherein we will be seeing the details of that particular user so let's create another division here and wrap this unordered list as well inside uh, a division so I'll cut that, paste it over here and uh, let's just indent this a bit. I'll also create another division here. And uh, now in here I'll specify a class of uh, call MD say 4. And to take up the rest of the space I'll specify the class of call MD 8 here. And in here I will use some other um, some other components so let's create that I'm going to create a user detail component and uh, I will be using that user detail component here let's save this and now if I check I see a list something like this but if I navigate to a particular um, user here let's say for example if I click on one of these links I am going to get an error so we will be having a look at fixing uh, this error in the next video so I'll see you guys there